Coach, I uh, just kind of wanted to ask this too in talking about Wisconsin. Um, will this be the first time the whole family's been back, or have you, uh, have you brought your kids and your wife back to Wisconsin in the past? Well, we go, we try to get back twice a year, you know, so, uh, but hopefully now Christmas doesn't happen anymore, right? Because we're in bowl games and doing that type of stuff, and then we always get back for 10 days in the summer, so we'll, we, we try to get back a little bit. Will this be the first time they've been at Camp Randall, though? No, for, no doubt, no doubt. It'll be the first time in this type of environment, and uh, like I said, they don't know Wisconsin football. They know Cougs, right? They know Washington State, so um, it'll be a fun experience for them, too. And, you know, for them, is it kind of one of those things where you're, you're looking forward to kind of showing them the stadium where you grew up uh, in terms of, you know, where you were a huge fan, say, hey, this is where this is where your dad, you know, kind of Sir, grew up on college football? We haven't talked about it much. They're more concerned. Dad is cotton candy there. Am I going to get some popcorn? Uh, where, where do I get my halftime snack? So, you know, we'll talk about those things kind of in the moment a little bit. You know, uh, more kind of just focused on the actual week at hand. Um, any guys that didn't play last week you kind of expect to have back this week? Yeah, I feel like we'll be at full full tilt. Uh, Andre Dollar, uh, I think we'll be back uh, full ready to go. Falili uh, was down a little bit last game. He'll be ready to go. You know, so we got a lot of really ancillary parts that are back. I, I don't think of one off the top of my head that uh, you know won't be back that uh, we know isn't you know prepared for the season. Was Druvensky nicked up last week, or is that just more wanting to get in the key as many touches as possible with how well he was I running? I just think a little bit of both. Uh, we're working Javinsky in, you know, and we just need to see a little bit more urgency as we continue to go. But there will be a role for Javinsky as we go throughout the season. And how close do you think Robert Farrell might be? I think hopefully uh, Rob's a week away. You know, he's, he's now on land. He's now moving around. He's now doing his thing. And, uh, you know, we, we hopefully to get him back out there for Colorado State. You know, as you kind of prepare for this game, and, you know, Braylon Allen's obviously, um, you know, one of the best running backs in the country. And, you know, he's probably a guy that you don't see a lot of in the Pac-12 just in the sense that he's a 235-pound yeah. running back with top-end speed. How do you prepare for a guy like that that can beat you in so many different ways on the ground? Well, the first thing I tried to do is take our uniform mannequin and tear his leg off because I want our guys to understand if you tackle this guy high, it's going to be like a BB off a tank. Like they got to wrap and squeeze and get a leg and get an ankle and hang on for dear life. And it's got to be one guy doesn't bring him down, right? So it's over and over and over and hits and effort and how we play and strain. Uh, but it's all about aim points. Like if you think you're going to take him up high, you saw it last week, he just bounces off guys. And the thing that makes him unique is his patience, right? He hit a 96-yarder, but it wasn't just out the hole and gone. He was patient to the left. He cut it all the way back. And then it's very rare to have that size and have the speed to take it to the house like that. So he's a, he's a unique challenge, um, but it's all about aim point and how you tackle these guys. As you probably, you know, wrapped up the final look at tape on Idaho, um, any last things that have kind of stood out to you about that game? I'm way beyond that. I don't, I don't even remember that one. It's 1-0. We're on to this week. Yeah, so uh, what's the mindset or message you've been saying to the team for uh, heading into week two? Well, I think the biggest thing is what an opportunity. You know, I think uh, in life you only get so many opportunities, and you got to take advantage of each and every one of them, and this is a unique opportunity. You know, but at the same time, it's the same mindset of how we try to win each and every game. So uh, I think we've been a, done a good job of understanding the environment but controlling what we can control going into the game, right? So. It's a different test. It's a different task, right? The way they play the game, you know, they're okay with a punt. You know, they're okay with grinding yards and four-yard runs and over and over and over. So it's a mentality stuff that we just got to make sure we're doing our job. And when the opportunity comes, we got to take advantage of it. And we got an opportunity to make a play. We got to go make a play against a good football team because we're a good football team, right? And we got to go prove that this week. Awesome.